Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to create a stored procedure in SQL Server with input and output parameters. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can create the stored procedure with input and output parameters. So let's jump to the demo. I have SQL Server 2019 instance and on the SQL Server 2019 instance, I got a Adventure Works 2019 database. I have downloaded this database from the Microsoft site and you can also download and restore it if you don't have and I will share the link in the description of the video how you can download it and how you can restore to your SQL Server 2019 instance. So recently I created a video on the stored procedure like what is the stored procedure and what are the benefits of creating the stored procedure and how to create a basic stored procedure and uh, you will be seeing a pop up on the top right side of the video and if you want to check that video then you can just check that one and I will also share the link in the description of this particular video as well. So in this particular video I will show you how we can pass the input and output parameters to the stored procedure. So if you want to check the stored procedure on the database side then you need to expand the database, expand the programmability and then expand the stored procedure. So you will find all the stored procedures here. Okay. In the adventure works 2019 database I got two tables human resources dot employee table and then person dot person table. I have written a SQL query here that I am selecting few columns from one table and few columns from another table and I am doing a join on the business entity ID. So if I execute this particular query, so you will find that this particular data will be returned. So in my last video I created a restore procedure on this one, but you can see that job title is different for different people. So, but suppose if I am interested only in a particular job title, then I can add a where clause here like where job title equal to and I can paste some value from the available output. So if I execute this one, so now you can see that it is returning the data only for the marketing specialist job title. Because there are different job titles in this particular video, so if you are interested to pass some other job title, then you can make this job title as dynamic and the value can be passed through an input parameter. So if you want to make the store procedure with input parameter, then what you need to do, you need to write create proc store procedure name so I can call it like sp underscore get job title data okay and then bracket and then I need to pass the job title as a input parameter so I can write job title here and its data type so maybe I can pass as worker 100 bracket and for the worker data type and then bracket and for the store procedure as then I need to write begin and end. Now in between the begin and end I need to write my code here. So I can just copy this query from here and paste it here. Now this value job title marketing is hard coded but I want to make this particular value as dynamic. So what I can do I can copy the job title input parameter from here and I can replace the hard coded value with this one. And now I can execute this particular query. So this has created a store procedure with the input parameter. Okay. Now if you refresh the programmability, so you will find a store procedure here, sp underscore get job title data. Okay. Now if you want to execute this particular store procedure, so either you can execute it using a SQL query or you can execute it using the GUI as well. So suppose if you want to execute using the GUI, then you can right click on it and you can click on execute store procedure. Okay. And here you need to pass the value. So for example, if I want to get the data for the marketing specialist, then what I can do, I can paste the value here, okay, and then I can click on execute. So this will return me the data for the marketing specialist. So this is how it got executed. Now suppose if you want to execute using the SQL query, then you can write exec and then the store procedure name and then you can pass the value for the job title. So suppose I want to pass a different value now. So maybe I can copy this value senior tool designer and I can pass this value here and if I execute the store procedure now so you will find that there are two records for the senior tool designer. So this is how you can call a store procedure with the input parameter. And now suppose if you want to create a store procedure with the output parameter so let me create a new query and select the data from this employee table. So if you see we got the business entity ID and the national ID number. So now what I want is that if I pass the business entity ID to the store procedure then it should return the national ID number for that particular business entity ID. Okay. So how I can create a store procedure for that one? I can write create proc 
एस पी अंडर स्कोर गेट नेशनल आई डी एंड आई विल पास द इनपुट पैरामीटर एज बिजनेस एंटिटी आई डी सो मे बी आई कैन कॉपी द बिजनेस एंटिटी आई डी फ्रॉम हेयर पुट एट द रेट बिजनेस एंटिटी आई डी ऑफ इंटीजर टाइप सो दिस विल बी द इनपुट पैरामीटर नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू गेट द वैल्यू एज नेशनल आई डी नंबर ओके सो आई वॉन्ट टू रिटर्न ए वैल्यू एज नेशनल आई डी नंबर सो आई कैन राइट एट द रेट नेशनल आई डी नंबर एंड इट विल बी ऑफ इंटीजर टाइप एज वेल and it will be of output so i can write an output against the output parameter so if you notice for the input parameter we don't need to provide like input but for the output parameter we need to provide the keyword as outputs now we can write as and then we need to write begin and end okay now what we want to do we, know, we want to get the value select star from let me copy the table name from here first and then i want to get the national id number from human resources where business entity id equal to th this particular input parameter okay so if this particular value will be passed then i will get the national id number and i want to assign this national id number to the this particular output parameter so now i can just create this particular store procedure so the store procedure has been created and if you refresh the store procedure so you will find this store procedure here sp underscore get national id so now to execute the store procedure with the input and output parameters for the output parameters first you need to declare the output parameter so i will declare the output parameter as at the rate national id number of integer type and then i will call the store procedure ex ec and my store procedure name and the first one is the business entity id so for example i will pass the business entity id as one and now i want to get the output parameter value and i will write output keyword here so that it know that this is the output parameter and now i can write select at the rate national id number so what will happen that i have declared a local variable national id number of integer type here and now i am calling the store procedure with the input parameter this is the input parameter first one and this is the output parameter because i have written a output keyword here and now as soon as this particular line will be called the value from the store procedure will be assigned to this particular output parameter and now i'm just getting the value from the output parameter in using a select keyword so now i can execute this particular query so if you see this particular value has returned let me paste the value here and now if you want to check that if the value was correct so if you can see that for the business entity id 1 this is the correct value from the national id number so this is how you can create the store procedure with the input and output parameters so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much